It's one of the most distinctive features of one of the world's great mountains, the snow cap atop Africa's Mount Kilimanjaro. But the snows are gradually disappearing, and experts say they may be totally gone by the end of this century. Scientists are divided on why this is happening. The debate could affect our understanding of climate change. CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi recently climbed Kilimanjaro and has insight. On a cool late June morning in northern Tanzania, hikers gather at the Machame Gate, one of the entry points to Mount Kilimanjaro. Their journey to 5,800 meters or 19,300 feet is about to begin. I've never been above 15,000 feet, so this would be quite the ordeal. I think I'm just the anticipation, and I'm so excited. The trek up Africa's tallest mountain starts in a rainforest. It ends in a snowfield, even though Kili is just 320 kilometers from the equator. The snow is actually an attraction that people want. It's something that made Kilimanjaro be popular. This is day two of the climb. We're heading from Machame Camp to Shira Camp. It's about six miles in all. Very steep, pretty arduous. The advice from the guides and the porters to us is pole pole, slowly, slowly. Much less slowly than many would like, those snows of Kilimanjaro that hikers constantly keep in their sights are vanishing. Glaciers on the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro have shrunk dramatically since the mid-19th century and are still continuing to shrink quite rapidly. Photos have documented the trend. Uh, you can see the hill over there. It used to be covered uh, by the snow. It leaves behind remnants, you know, uh, scree, rocks, tailless, dust, dirt, everything like that. So it's all the evidence is there. Where experts disagree is on the cause of the glacial retreat. Some argue global warming has triggered snowmelt, including former U.S. Vice President Al Gore in his climate science documentary, An Inconvenient Truth. Within the decade, there will be no more snows of Kilimanjaro. Meantime, many scientists believe the atmosphere above Kili is getting drier, not warmer. The evidence supporting the idea that these glaciers are drying out rather than melting away is pretty persuasive. After a long climb through the night, Hendrick and I are going to summit this thing, Kilimanjaro. Even in the brutally thin air, it's clear Kili snow is far from all gone. This mountain remains an important laboratory for studying glacier loss around the world and for measuring the effect of climate change on atmospheric circulation. On Kilimanjaro, you can really see the change. Glaciologist Tad Pfeffer says snow may hang around Kilimanjaro for at least several more decades. Even after that, he predicts only Kili's beauty will suffer. I don't think that the tourists would all pack up and leave if the ice was gone. Making it. Hendrik Sabrandi, CCTV on Mount Kilimanjaro.